What is up? Today I'm gonna take you through all the food that I eat, but first, we've gotta get ready. All right, that's much better. We're all locked and loaded, ready for the day. Okay, so first things first, before I eat anything in the morning, I make sure to chug this whole cup of water. It's the same, same size cup every morning. And the reason because, for that is because every morning once you wake up, you've already been depleting your water for hopefully seven to eight hours, and so you're already dehydrated. So it's important to get that water in first thing in the morning. For eggs, a bushel of cheese. That's an oatmeal. Fun fact, did you know you can use a little oatmeal packet as your measuring cup. Look at that. My one-handed skills are improving. There you go. Boom bang. We've got two packets of oatmeal, uh, some peaches that I found in the fridge, an avocado, half a banana, and this is actually two egg whites and two whole eggs. This is pretty much my typical breakfast. I'll have uh, some carb source like the oats today, and then I'll have the same proportions of eggs, the same two egg whites and two whole eggs. And the reasoning behind that is because the the yolk is what is carrying the the fatty part of the egg, the cholesterol, and but it also has other uh, vitamins and minerals that are important in there for you. So it's good to keep some of that in your diet. But the the white of the egg is what has most of the protein in it. Uh, the average egg has about six gram of, grams of protein. So with these four, I'm hitting. 24 grams of protein, which is just about right. And then I make sure that I have uh, a fruit or vegetable source in every single breakfast. It's good to start your day out, making sure you get all those micronutrients that you need. And it's also a goal of mine to have some kind of fruit or vegetable as part of every single meal. So I'm gonna eat this one, and then I'll show you what's for lunch next. Since I'm at grandma's house, I'm gonna have me one of these. A little blueberry and almond cookie. Meal number two, we've got some tuna fish right here with avocados instead of mayonnaise, because that's the way to do it. We've got some carrots. These are those cheddar Cheez-Its. Uh, some fresh green beans right there. And then a bunch of broccoli. I am, I'm a vegetable guy. I like to go heavy on the vegetables. Uh, but as you can see, I also like, like some snacky foods. Like these Cheez-Its are Typically something that you might not assume would be part of your healthy daily diet, but I would argue that instead of cutting them out completely, you just make sure that you're careful about the portion size. So you'll see that more than anything else on my plate, I have more vegetables. So I do fit in those different little treats and things that I like. And I also want to tell you, just so we're completely transparent, uh, a couple minutes ago I had one of those little elf fudge cookie guys. Help, help. All right, we finally got her done. All right, finally got her done. That was a lot of chewing. I'm gonna go brush the broccoli out of my teeth now. Dessert, I'm gonna have a little something something. Chocolate milk. Yeah, baby. We just went and played in the rain. <laughs> We are here for dinner. That's chicken. This is the pasta underneath the salad. And then here's my big old green salad. Hey, did you have time to reinforce the takeoff ramp? No. Cool. <laughs> my name's Rod and I like to party. I've been drinking Mountain Dew all gosh darn day. You ain't gonna take the deal. This is gonna be my last meal of the day. I'm gonna have one scoop of protein right after my workout. Oh yeah, baby. Thank you for tuning in, seeing all my food. And I'll see you guys in the next video.